Good morning, children. So uh, yesterday we have seen beta how to find the SC by prime factorization method and the long division method. Now let us see where would you use this HCF or what is the use of this HCF in our real life. So see for that I am giving you some word problems. And these questions are from practice set 24. If large square waves of equal size are to be made. Yes, children. So, what is the question? C. A large base of equal size are to be made for planting vegetables on a plot of land. Plot of land. 80 meter long and 50 meter wide. C. If plot. Okay, and you have to divide it long and what is the maximum? Maximum is greatest possible length of each. So you have to divide this plot in such a way that each piece is of equal length and it is the maximum length. See, wherever the words come. In what problems maximum, greater, that time you have to find highest, that time you have to find the axiom. So here we will find the axiom of 15 and 18. So that we will get the maximum length of each piece of this plot. So can we learn how to find the axiom? So here we will use log division beta beta. Fifteen of the fifteen. Three five of fifteen. See the remainder is zero. That means what? What is the axiom of this fifteen and eight? It is three. So. This plot is divided equally into three maximum pieces. The piece maximum length of the piece is three meter. Yeah. 
What is it? So you can use the Excel in a real life the questions like this. Okay. So let's see the another question. Of one meter long and twelve meter What will be the maximum? Again, the word is maximum. What will be the So, children, what is the question? Two ropes. One is 8 meter long and another is 12 meter long. So, you have to cut such that each piece means it is 8 and 4 have the same length. Okay. So, for the maximum and the length is maximum. So, it will be divided 8 in the maximum and that the 12 is also the same length. So again, children, the word comes maximum. Okay. So again, we will find the axiom of 8 and 12. And only you can find out what is the highest divisor of 8 and 12. Yes. 4, 2 is 8 and 4, 3 is So maximum factor is what? Highest factor of 8 and 12 is 4. So what is the axiom of 8 and 12? Means 4, therefore the maximum is 
length of each piece So, eight having two pieces, four and four, and here twelve is divided into three pieces having length four, four, four. Okay. So let us try one more question, better. See the question is quite clearly. The number of students of standard six and standard seven who went to visit the Taroba Tiger Project at Chandrapur was one forty and one ninety six respectively. Means six standard students are one forty and one ninety six are the seven student standard students. The students of each class are to be divided into groups of the same number of students. Each group can have a paid guide. What is the maximum number of students there can be in each group? Why do you think each group should have the maximum possible number of students? Okay, the question is quite lengthy, and I'm writing here in short. So number of students one forty one forty number of students. In seven standard okay, it is one ninety six. One ninety six. Okay, and they are to be divided into the group. Having the equal number of students, and you have to find the number so that they are divided maximum number of students in each group. Therefore, maximum. Number of students in each group is equal to their axial. This axial of One forty and one ninety six. Okay, so here you have to find the SCF of one forty and one ninety six. So let's find. You can find over here. One forty. One forty one the one forty. One forty two the here. Here is two hundred. Okay, so it will be one. Now, see children. This remainder fifty six becomes divisor, and the first divisor one forty becomes dividend. Fifty six. Fifty six. Fifty 
Got it better? So in this way, you can use the axial in our real life. Got it, children? So now we will stop over here, better. Bye-bye, children. Bye-bye, better.